Today's video is all about the real steel elegance. That's knife collector here. Welcome to my channel, thanks for tuning in. And today we talk about the real steel elegance. I should call it the real steel H6 elegance. It's an improvement or a variation on the original design, the real steel H6 blue sheep. And recently real steel introduced these variations with some improvements. First of all, real steel offers this one currently in three variations. First of all, this one, this is the G10 carbon fiber laminated elegance with a satin blade. Then there is a blue G10 with a satin blade and there is a black G10 one with a stone wash blade. So three choices, options for the real steel elegance. Let me start with some dimensions. The length of the overall length of the knife is 21.3 centimeters or 8.5 inch. The blade length is 9.2 cm or 3.5 inch. The thickness of the blade is 3.5 mm or 0.2 inch. And the weight is 143 gram or 5.04 ounce. The blade design has changed dramatically. I think let me put let me take the original H6 blade design as you can see it has a more slim elegant style blade it's a full flat grind where this one had the hollow grind with the swatch and a high flat portion. This one looks way more as the S573 Pro design. So a very elegant, slim blade shape with a full flat grind. Some improvements are new type of torque screws. According to Real Steel these are improved on the original Torx screws so I guess that's okay the carbon fiber version, this one has a satin finish on the blade a satin brush finish I think if you look closely you can see the grind lines thumb studs with a very nice detail the blade thins out to the tip but the tip remains strong for example not as thin as a paramilitary this is just a strong tip design <coughs> H6 elegance the steel is the proven 14C 28N Sandvik steel very decent steel it takes an edge 
very easy and it holds its edge for a reasonable amount of time, use time because it is a flat, full flat grind this will be a very nice slicer The knife, the knife comes sharp, but maybe it could be sharper. I will try to cut a piece of paper or shave some hair later on. Let me try it immediately. Yes, it shaves hair, so it is pretty sharp. The edge is very even done. So that's a good thing. Lockup is very decent. Thick steel liners. So this is a well built, strong, strong built knife. They call it a hard use knife. No blade play, not at all. I think lockup is about 40%. I don't like a very early lockup, so for me that's very good. Knife has a very defined smoothness, so it will not drop freely. But it, it just runs very easy on the washers. In this one, no uh, bearings, but washers. I don't think you can see them. Thick stop pin. Backspacer, G10 backspacer with a milled out pattern which provides some traction jimping on the place where the thumb rests which provides some traction as well I think the carbon fiber G10 laminate they did a very well a very good job very nice pattern I think this is the honeycomb carbon fiber pattern. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Looks very good. Here you can see it's, it's very difficult to see, but you maybe you can see the layers of G10 and the carbon fiber. Nice big lanyard hole with a steel tube to protect the G10 carbon fiber laminate. Here you can see again how thick the steel liners are. Pocket clip. It's a very functional pocket clip. Lots of tension, but also lots of spring and enough room to slide your pocket, to slide it in your pocket. And because it's not a truce, you don't. Uh, this, this will not cause a hotspot. Pocket clip can be uh, tip up, tip down, right hand only, as you can see. So sorry for the lefties. 
fit the finish on this piece as we might expect from real steel they have a very good fitting finish excellent job of real steel again nothing to complain about no rough edges on the G10 carbon fiber the liners are all polished so again a very excellent job of real steel let me see if I can show the interior Here you can see the liners are milled out to save some weight. So that despite the thick steel liners, this one only weighs 140 gram or 5 ounce. So that's pretty decent weight for such a sturdy knife. And here you can see as well that the knife inside is also very well very clean made no roughness just all finished very very uh, finished very clean Action is great. You can finger flick it, as you can see, and it flies out. Just a thumb, it flies out. And this is a brand new knife, so it even will get smoother, but it's already very good. Very nice defined action. Centering excellent. I like it very much. And the name Elegance is very appropriate. This one is also available as the Free, the H6 Free, but then it doesn't have the thumb studs, but it has a nail nick. So it, it will be a two hand opening knife, so it can be carried in more countries with stricter rules on carrying knives, for example Germany. And I think that's caused uh, by the fact that Real Steel listens very good at feedback of users and dealers so I think from Germany the feedback was they want a two hand opening knife I like it very much very very clean design I think it's a I like the original H6, of course the original H6 also had three variations already. But this one maybe I like the most because it's it's really a very elegant looking knife. So very good name for this one. The knife itself comes with some paperwork as we are used from real steel uh, with the cloth and of course in the very nice box with the with liner real steel uh, is uh, real steel really does package these knives very well
pricing. The G black G10 variant will cost 49 euro and 95 cents. The blue G10 variant will cost 49 euro and 95 cents. And this one, the carbon fiber variant, will cost 53 euro and 60 cents. I don't think they are available all over yet. I found that only at this moment Mezenzo.com, the Dutch dealer, although it's, uh, Mezenzo is located in Holland, in the Netherlands, but I think most of his business comes from the rest of Europe. Holland is of course a very small country. But Mezenzo um, sells a lot in the other European countries. And I think these knives these, uh, are only available at Mezenzo at this moment. So I will provide a link in the description box to these three variants. But check out mezenzo.com also for the other entries, uh, all the new real steel variants are available already, like the Bushcraft, the Takin, uh, the Tor T101, but also other exciting brands like Wee Knife, Kaiser. Uh, Lion Steel, Zero Tolerance, Manly, etc. etc. So it's worth worthwhile checking out the website. Um, what else to say? Uh, when I say bye bye, hang on a moment so I can show some pictures of the variants of the real steel elegance at the end that's it for now if you like this video please like it it's of great support for my channel if you like my channel please subscribe and uh, any questions or comments i will try to answer next the next days but hang on i will show some pictures